measured from the armpit to the end of the fist. And they both weighed in within a pound of the 175 pound limit. The UASK, the monster, Gonzalez. Alexander, the nail, closed it. Up at all times. Touch gloves, two gloves once, one and switch. Two losses in a row. The first of them, almost no one other than the judges agreed. It just appeared to be one of those simply take overhand right against both sticks. Just threw a left and a right over the top right to no, try to fight with knives. If he can't throw to the overhand right, then when he will be the outside, you see, has the advantage. Distance and aren't very careful, he can knock you out. And Rosek has good combination from his position. This is what he does. He throws punches and he throws overhand right. Now Bozdick comes back and lands a solid left hook. Pedro Diaz, whom we've seen with Eater in the corner of Uniesca Gonzalez, and he has... It all depends. I'm missing, you know, he needs if he don't. But no, I don't think it's going to be a big factor. I think and be first at all times in this fight. And he was a southpaw and not posted down to the right hand. Yep. And that's a harder punch to see. No and question. the kinds of punches that... Uh, with the right hand, overhead which is why right, Gonzalez came close to goes, landing it. He goes right to the right hand because he goes... Uppercut uh, to so up trouble as the fight goes on. That's why Gonzalez, he has to go to the body, invest in the body, to take those late. He cannot win a boxing match, as we see. Cannot win a boxing Hand there, set up in combination by Vostick. His hands are accelerating here in round two as he's gotten a look at the way Uniesca Gonzalez fights. Especially if Gonzalez continues to stay out three feet away from Vosek. He has to, he has to bang the body when he's punching. That's where they land more on. Gonzalez, eight out of 50. Gonzalez need to close the gap quickly, not stand out to get hit with three or four pull punch combinations. If he continue to do this, then it'd be a boxing lesson he would receive. And in this 10-round fight, we go to Harold Letterman here in the third round for his unofficial score. Harold. Okay, Jim, I got a 20 to 18, two rounds to nothing. Alexander goes to, you know, Jim, he, he's boxing a beautiful fight. I got to tell you, left jabs, right hands, combinations. He changes direction, moves both ways, not getting hit. And he's just out boxing Gonzalez in this fight. Two to nothing, Alexander goes there. While Harold was speaking, Gonzalez got in a left hook to the body that might have been his best punch so far. We, we talk about fighters with chins, and I'll mention from time to time, the fighters with the good chins are the ones who don't get hit on the chin. And Bernard brought up, Wozniak comes out, sometimes standing straight up, and is susceptible to right hands. And he is. It, but, but right now, he don't pay the price because Gonzalez is not throwing punches. Because down he goes Gonzalez, and that's a knockdown for Wozniak. And Gonzalez nods his head. Veteran of the Cuban amateur program, been in boxing all his life, he knew. That's the danger for Gonzalez. To get inside, you have to go through that middle distance where Vozik is very effective. And Vozik is sharper, quicker, and his punch is coming really, really sharp. This is it, folks. This is a potential signature performance for Alexander Vozik who's having it all his way against Uniesca Gonzalez. Some people thought that Gonzalez would be too strong and too big a hitter for Bozdick. Right now, Bozdick is wiping the canvas with him. This that was not a knockdown. Gonzalez has no legs. He's cut, his nose bleeding. And you know, it just time matter Fight's time over. right now. Fight's over, guys. Well, you gotta let his hands go more, Max. Because I, if you don't let his hands go more, Gonzalez is gonna grab him and hold him. But he has to right now let his hands go if, good. Lord, let him go fast from top to bottom. If, if Gonzalez gets out of this round, it's a miracle. He is a determined, self-confident fighter, but he has been swamped by Vozdik's hand speed. What, what? And his accuracy and the shortness and straightness of Vozdik's shots. Look, left hand, the left hand will end this fight. Yeah, the, the our left hand will end this fight. I don't know why the fight's still wobbling. going on. He has no coordination, no balance. But he has heart. Yep. But he has heart. What, what? But it's it's early in the fight, and he's taking a savage beating this round. I don't know why it needs to end with him unconscious. I, I think Harvey Doc ought to think about stopping this. He's already so far behind on the scorecards. It's hard to imagine him coming back. Guys, this, this guy hit. This fight is over. Yeah. It's enough. And the corner is stepping up onto the apron and saying to Harvey Doc, we don't need any more of this. We just tries to figure out what hit him. It comes from the jab. It comes from the jab. The jab set it all up, and then the combinations. 
after the jab and after he realized he had Gonzalez hurt, he finished him. And that's what most young fighters or fighters at a stage where they're ready to take the big step finished to do. But he done it. And he continued to keep throwing punches to end the fight. Gonzalez was so tough, he hung in there as long as I, I, mean, I was shocked he lasted that long to hang in there. But eventually, he was going to get hit with one of those punches that was coming. The right hand off the jab. The jab really didn't land, but the right hand. Because Gonzalez is now is, is, is hanging in the wind. He's not reacting. He's fighting off the instincts right now. And that's when you get either real hurt or knocked out. So this is an opportunity now for people to take a look at what they see in front of them right now, which is a, which is a big fight coming. You saw in that previous picture that Vosik had blood on the back of his head as he was going after Gonzalez. That blood had to have come from Gonzalez's nose and mouth. Yeah, because Vosik didn't get hit. He didn't get hit any time. And here is Usyk really torturing Lomachenko as Lomachenko, or excuse me, Gonzalez, as Gonzalez had completely lost his balance. And now you see the corner coming up on... The winner still undefeated from Kharkiv, Ukraine. And now the unified NABF and NABO light heavyweight champion, Alexander the Nail Gvold.